Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to Clever Style. I'm Brianna Baxter and we are hanging out with Megan Tandy from ABC Families, Jane by Design. We're so happy Yay. to have you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Of course. All right, let's jump right in. So you're so nice. I mean, we've been chatting. So what's it like playing a mean girl on Jane by Design? Is that hard? You know, it, it, it's, it's, well, it's not that hard because I get to, I had some examples um, of a Lulu type of character, they were actually like that towards me when I was in school. So I basically just kind of have to just think back like, oh that's right, when she pushed me and did this and that to me, I used that to like channel, you know, my character. Can you give us a little sneak peek into like a high moment or a low moment for Lulu that's coming up in the season? Like does her character grow a lot? Does she become, you know, maybe a little bit nicer or do we see a different side of her? Yes, yes. Lulu is definitely going to become way, way nicer now because in a way, you know, she got what she wanted. Wanted. She really wanted Billy and that was kind of like her biggest challenge and now her next challenge is just making sure that she maintains her academics. So she's definitely going to kind of soften out a little bit but she's also going to notice that her man, is um, all of his attention is going to Jane. And uh, yeah, Lulu has a little problem with that at some point. Oh no, drama. Yeah, yeah there's, there's some more drama definitely coming. Your character has a lot of pressure from her parents and just to be like the best. I mean, obviously you and Jane are competing in, yeah. that, in yeah. that aspect as well. Um, what advice would you give to like middle school and high school girls who are feeling that kind of academic and like social pressures as well? Um, if they can, just to take a seat and just like, you know, talk to their parents, let them know about like the, the stresses and, and the pressures that they have of, you know, trying to, you know, maintain these expectations of what they want as well as like managing, you know, their homework and their education. Like, I think if they just try to like find a way to balance it out, it won't be as stressful. Because I think sometimes, like especially being in middle school and in high school, like you just feel like, okay, I gotta, you know, maintain, you know, a really, really good GPA, plus, you know, please my parents plus you know have a social life and it just gets really really stressful so I think if you just like sit down and just try to find a way to balance it you won't be so stressed out. Um, what's it like working with such cute I mean hot if I'm gonna say it co-stars. I know they honestly it definitely made going into work very very nice because <laughs> They're just so good looking. Like they're just, it, it was never really hard to get ready for the kissing scenes either. But um, the guys, they're actually just really, really nice and they have such a good personality. They're very, very friendly. Um, I can definitely see why all the girls are crushing on them, but I got to work with them like every day. So, uh, you know, there's no sweat off my back on that one. <laughs> we have to know, you have a secret romance. I mean, it's not so secret anymore, but you <laughs> had a secret romance with Billy. In your real life, have you ever had a romance that you had to keep secret? Hmm, not really. If anything, it was just like a crush that like I didn't want anybody to know that I was liking him and you know, I would, you know, kind of flirt, like send him like little notes passing him like in class and everything, but um, not like a secret like full-blown romance where we're like, you know, sneaking around school or anything. No, nothing like that. But that would have been fun though. <laughs> I know, right? How fun would that, that <laughs> have been? Um, what do you do to prep for the kissing scenes? Anything, do you mean like, do you carry a toothbrush in your back pocket? You know, we always just had made sure that we had some sort of like a mint or something on there because, um, I, like I said, I'm not really much of a coffee drinker, but um, Nick Rue, he likes to drink coffee, so we would just have to make sure that, you know, there wasn't any like coffee drinking right before we, you know, did our little makeout scene, but we always made sure that there was just a mint there. And like I said, it didn't really take a whole lot of like motivation because you just look at them and it's like, okay, we're going to kiss. Does Lulu and Jane ever, you know, does Jane ever come to terms with you and Billy? I think at a certain point, Jane's going to start to accept, you know, what we've got going on, but whether or not we become actual friends or not, you just have to see. Ooh, we want to know yeah. if you guys are ever going to work together. It'll, it'll be interesting because, you know, it's kind of like this little, like, triangle that's going on. You know, I only like Billy, and of course he likes Jane, so I have to like Jane because he likes Jane, and she's got to like me because Billy likes me, so it's kind of weird. We have to force a couple of things, but yeah, you just have to keep watching. What's your um, biggest fashion influence? The show's really like inspired my own like sense of style now. Like now I actually have an idea of, okay, this goes together, this can go with that. And what's the one piece of clothing that you can't live without? One piece of clothing, oh my goodness. Um, Probably just a really good boot. I've been like all into boots now, especially that we're, you know, in the winter time. Like there's like not one day where I'm not tucking some sort of like pair of jeans or something into some boots. Like I just like the look. Yeah. It's a really, really good like style thing for me. Who's your biggest celebrity crush? Ryan Gosling. Oh, 
yeah, he's okay. he's kind of like my my dream boat at the moment. And if he wants to like meet me, that'd be great. Um, yeah, I love him. Y'all should share like an on-screen you know, got the kissing practice. That with would Nick be in. awesome. Yeah, no, he could definitely like come onto the show and be like, you know, Lulu's like dream guy or something just for one episode. I would love that. So Ryan, if you're paying attention, um, Megan wants you to come on ABC yeah, Family's please. Jane by Design. Yeah, so that'd be awesome. <laughs> what um where's your favorite place to shop? Favorite place to shop, you know what? I'm actually really loving BB right now. Um, BB's got so many great styles. I love their dresses. Like my friends and I were starting to go out a lot now, like on the weekends, just like having, you know, girls night. And so I'll always shop inside of BB just to find like a cute little trendy dress that I can bust out. Are you more the prim and proper or more the wild child in real life? <laughs> um, you know what? I, I guess you could say I'm a little bit of both. Like, you know, there are the days where I'm just like, okay, I just want to sit here, you know, be proper, not do anything. But then there's those days where I'm just like, you know what? It's girls night. Let's just go out, have fun, you know, dance around. So a little bit of both. That's a perfect balance. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, what trend are you totally into right now? For me, I'm just looking forward to just trying new colors and going a little bit brighter with my personal style. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming in, Megan. Thank we loved you. having you. And thank you guys for watching. And make sure to check out Megan on Jane by Design. Yay. And don't forget to subscribe to Clever Style for more fashion and beauty and amazing stars like Megan. Yay. We'll see you guys later. Bye.